Welcome to Inside Science TV. A spider's bite gave Peter Parker superhero powers to save the world and to spin strong, flexible webs. But physical chemists studying spiders and their silk aren't hoping to get superhuman powers, they just want to better understand spider silk. We were able to peer into the atomic structure of silk, a molecular level microscopic view of what the silk is doing and how it's behaving and how different silks are different from each other at a molecular level. Using high-energy x-rays, scientists looked at the structure of spider's dragline silk. This is the main thread used to create webs, and it also allows spiders to dangle off branches and window frames. Dragline silk is the one that you think of as if you've ever knocked a spider off of a branch and you notice it catches itself. It's what it drags behind it and makes it its safety line to keep it from falling anywhere. The core of dragline silk is made up of tiny fibers. 10% is an organized, repeated framework that gives it its incredible strength. The remaining 90% are what's called amorphous regions that give it its flexible, elastic qualities. High energy x-rays are giving us a view, especially of the amorphous region in silk at the molecular level that we haven't had before. Researchers now know that despite a web's intricate organized patterns, the amorphous or elastic regions are very random and disordered areas within the silk. So the amorphous region has a lot of helical, spiral, and coil regions in it, so it's almost like a little nano spring. Having a better picture of the inner structure of spider silk, along with its stronger than steel qualities, will help make better synthetic silk for materials like bulletproof vests and artificial human tendons. People have been trying to make synthetic silks now for 15 years or more, but they've never produced anything near the quality of the natural material. Giving scientists their own spidey sense to create their own webs in the lab. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.